hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to understand about the derived column transformation and select transformation in azure data factory so we will try to do a develop a data pipeline by using a derived column and the select transformation so before that let us try to understand when actually we use a derived column transformation derived column transformation so suppose you have one of the data okay suppose you have a data and you have one of the column that is a salary column okay and these are the salary which is present okay now what actually you want to do you want to create a new column that is a deducted salary deducted salary this is the column you want to develop and in this data what actually you want to do you want to do a minus of 500 so the what you will get 500 and the 1500 so what actually we are doing we are deriving a new column from the existing data so in that kind of the case we generally use a derived column okay now let us try to understand this is for the deriving a new column so suppose if you want to do a changes in the existing column itself so suppose this is your column and whatever the name you are getting suppose i am getting a name of the monies okay but uh, suppose you want to change this logic and your name should get you should get the name like a in a capital letter money sir so in existing column also if you want to change so with the help of the expression you can do and you can use a derived column so in that kind of scenario we generally go for the derived column when whenever you have to derive a new column from an existing column or you want to change the logic of the existing column so you can use a derived column okay i hope you got idea in select transformation so suppose you have 100 records 100 of the column suppose you have only the 50 column you are getting a data okay so what actually we do we will select only the specific column which is important right so in that kind of scenario we generally use a select transformation okay now let us try to understand the requirement and we will try to develop our pipeline so we have a data that is available in a storage account okay so what actually we want to do we want to apply a same logic which we have understand so we have a, all the employee related data here we want to do a we want to deduct the salary of 5000 from the each employee we want to deduct the salary of 5000 from each employee by using a derived column transformation okay and the new column which will be the de 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 deducted salary this is the new column we have to derive it okay and after that we will also use the select transformation whatever the irrelevant column we will not select that so with the help of the select transformation and finally we will store into a storage account in the form of the json so that is the requirement we have let me show you the data so that we will get more idea okay so this is my storage account let me try to show you the data first which i was telling you okay if i will show you okay so if you can see the salary right with in this particular salary we will try to deduct 5000 from each employee and we will create a new column that is a deducted salary column okay and also if you will see in a salary we are not getting anything right so this actually we will not select it and finally we will store the data in a json format okay so this data is a csv format so what actually happen whenever you use a csv format so by default everything it treat as a, a string format so we have to change the format like the salary should be integer so that actually we will do in our practical okay so let me open my data factory okay i'll go to the author what actually we will do we will try to create a data flow new data flow okay we'll try to select a source what is my source so i will try to create a new data set okay so what is my new data set available in azure blob storage so i will select that my data is available in a csv format so i will select this continue i will try to create a link service so that i can connect with my storage account here we have to select the subscription storage account and finally we will try to click on the create okay now i will try to select my file path so my data is only available in input folder so i will select that i will select the file click on the ok as of now in output folder i don't have any data ok i will try to select first row as header click on the ok and in last video i told you like if you want to see a data first you should open the data flow debug option 
click on the ok so that you will get you can preview your data data preview option once the data flow debug will complete then only you will be able to see your data ok before that what I was telling you right by default if you go to the projection by default every data whatever you are seeing because this was a csv file right our input file everything it is treating as a string but our salary is integer right so with the help of this we can actually change that so i'll select the salary is integer employee id is also a integer so i'll select that and the salary we don't have any data so let it be but i will try to select that's a integer also okay so this is the typecasting we have done it okay now if i will go to the data preview if i will replace this you will be able to see your data okay now after that what we will do we will try to use a derived column where actually we will try to derive a new column how actually we can use it so we have to click on this plus okay go to the derived column you can see we have a derived column so i'll select that so this is the transformation we have here we have to select what is our uh, source source is nothing but a source one from here our data is coming now here you can see we have a column or uh, we have a expression so let me select my column i want to derive a new column right or suppose you want to derive a new column right so i want to derive a column name as a deducted salary so i am typing that deducted salary this is the new column i want to derive so what is the expression for that i will use so if i will use this and click on the open expression builder so that we can write an expression okay so this is the new column i am deriving what is the expression i will use i will select the salary and i will try to deduct 5000 if I will if you want to preview your data click on the data preview you will be able to see your data this is the deducted salary and the 5000 is got deducted 10,000 became the 5,000 20,000 became the 15,000 I'll click on the save and finish so this is the one deducted salary new column I have added it now what actually I will do I'll click on the add button let us try to explore more okay so suppose what actually I want to do I will select the name column I'll open an open expression builder what actually I will do this is the name right the name I want to convert everything in a upper case ok so I'll select the upper name I'll click on the save and finish so this is the two thing I have done it ok if I will show you the data preview the name should get converted into uppercase and the new column which is the deducted salary should be there ok so that is the two thing we have done you can say name which is the existing column only we have done the change all the things are coming in a capital letter you can see we also have salary and we also have introduced the deducted salary where we are deducting the 5000 from the each salary right you are able to see the data so like that actually we can use a derived column if you want to use if you want to add multiple column and multiple expression you can do that ok now after that what we will do we will try to see how actually we can use a select transformation so if you can see select transformation now if you will see here we are getting all the data right but in this cell right we are not getting any data so I don't want this so what actually I will do I will select this and I will try to delete it so like that actually we can do it and now if you will try to preview it you will be able to see you will not be able to see the cell column which was not having any data so you can see we only have employee ID name salary address and deducted salary ok now finally what we will do we will try to add a sync and we will try to load our data and what is our data set our data set is uh, the blob storage so, or I will try to create a new data set I want to store in a blob storage I want to store in a JSON format so I will select that continue I will use the same link service because same blob storage I am using and I want to store into a output folder where we don't have any data as of now if I will show you there is no data click on the ok click on the ok ok so our data flow is ready now what we have to do we have to click, click on the pipeline 
we have to drag this data flow publish all publish it once the publish will complete we will try to run with the help of the add trigger button ok and once we will run the pipeline our data should get stored into a output location you can see publish is completed i will click on the add trigger and the trigger now click on the ok go to the monitor now if i will refresh it you will be able to see your data pipeline which is running let me show you you can see view pipeline run so this is the pipeline which is running if i will go to the monitor you will be able to see this is the pipeline which is running ok it is in progress once it will complete we will be able to see our data let us wait it now if you will see our pipeline is succeed now what i will do this was our the input data so what actually i will try to see show you i will go to my output location i will go to the container output this is the part file you can see if i will open this this is the file which got succeed go to the edit you will be able to see the data is got stored into a json format and you can see name is coming as a capital letter and we have introduced a new column that is a deducted salary and the 5000 got deducted from this salary column okay i hope you got idea thank you